When you work for us, Doctor, you take on part of our mission to help make the world a healthier place. His pompous and overselling tone was already quite annoying. But I knew this was a great career opportunity that I just couldn't afford to miss. He continued. We have many international roles available that can give you... No, 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 no. That's fine. I have only just graduated, sir, so... Working here at HQ is best for me. He briefly curved his bottom lip downwards. Hmph. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, doctor. How do you feel about a one-day trial run? Trial run? When would you like me to start? He leaned nonchalantly back in his chair, throwing his hands behind his head. How's now strike you? Um, well, I, uh... I stumbled over my words as I attempted to shrug off his unnerving eyes. He wanted me to answer faster. Yes. I confidently stated. Ah, great. Fantastic. His voice and movements matched that of a happy salesman hitting way over target. He quickly stood from his chair and made his way around this desk to shake my hand. Welcome aboard, Dr. Loft. Well, temporarily, but... <laughs> Here, let me show you to your first project. After a short introduction to my lab partner, we had a quick overview of my job. And in less than 10 minutes, I was apparently ready. I clicked the button on my recorder and began documenting my findings. This is Dr. Loft, reviewing case number 204. It is to be noted that all admitted patients be kept behind the three-inch security glass at all times. Day one of the injection containing the compound 2047. Patient number 32 is experiencing high fever, high heart rate, chattering teeth, and vomiting. I stepped forward to the next glass cell. Okay, moving on to patient number 33, who is the second day of the injection. It's looking like by day two, a red and itchy rash appears. There's evidence of the rash on the face and throughout the rest of the body. The patient has become highly irrational and delusional. Patient number 34 is on day 3. The rash has developed into abscesses that seem to be filling with fluid. Most likely some sort of infectious pus. Hmm. Seems like some of the abscesses are falling off and taking most, if not all, of the remaining layers of skin along with it. The patient seems to be in excruciating pain. I closed my eyes and took a heavy gulp. My mind began to race and started producing terrifying images of just what exactly might be in the next cell. Especially considering the horrendous sight of patient number 34. I hang my head, open my eyes, and stare at my feet. <sighs> Thank God this was just a one day trial. I take a deep breath and step forward to the next cell. Okay. 
Patient number 35. The compound at day five. I stopped at my tracks. The cell was completely empty. It was perfectly clean, too. Like nothing had ever been in this cell before. Then, I felt the needle in my neck. <laughs>